9 Most Ridiculous Things Bought by Billionaires Mukesh Ambani Mukesh Ambani, the Indian business tycoon inherited and controls an oil empire that has earned him an estimated net worth of about $60 billion. He used $1 billion of that fortune to build the most expensive home in his native country, and the entire world. According to Forbes, Ambani's residence is a 27-story, 400,000-square-foot skyscraper, which boasts of three helicopter pads and six underground parking levels. It is named after the mythical island of Antilla, its amenities reportedly include a ballroom, a 50-seat theater and nine elevators in the lobby alone. About 600 staff members are required to maintain this mega-mansion. Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nahyan. He is known as the Rainbow Sheikh, as he bought seven Mercedes, and painted them each a different color of the rainbow. The man wanted to make a statement to the world, but the sad part of it was that only people who were rare born were able to see this wonder. Sheikh Hamad engraved his name in a two mile long display of ego on his own private island, Al Futar Isi. The letters on the earthly signature were one kilometer high and could be seen from space. Clive Palmer For Australian businessman and politician Clive Palmer, only the most famous ship in history will do and nothing else. Although, the Titanic, has been at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean since it sunk in 1912. Palmer remains unperturbed and has commissioned Titanic 2, which is estimated to have cost him a whopping $425 million to $567 million. It is nearly an exact replica of the doomed nine-deck White Star Line ship, so similar is the design that. It even resembles Grand Staircase which featured in the 1997 movie, but it has been updated for modern travel. Jeff Bezos the famous Washington Post, a paper which took down a presidency, was controlled locally by the Graham family for almost 80 years. Until Jeff Bezos decided he wanted it and in 2013, the billionaire Amazon founder bought one of the world's most influential publications for $250 million. This deal was called an out of the blue deal by the Wall Street Journal. Three years later, Bezos confirmed that he didn't prepare himself for the deal and simply accepted the first number the seller proposed. Al Walid bin Talal Prince Al Walid bin Talal already owned a $220 million Boeing 747-400, but in his world, that just wasn't enough. In 2007, he paid $319 million for an A380 double-decker super jumbo jet, which is the world's largest passenger aircraft. He even ordered upgrades for it which included space for his horses and two Rolls-Royce cars. This sent the sticker price soaring past $500 million. But to everyone's surprise, much before it got ready, he sold his newest toy to an undisclosed buyer. Hassan al bolkia Sultan of Brunei. 500 Rolls Royces, $20,000 haircuts, and a 1,788-room palace spread over 2.2 million square feet. Is there anything that this man doesn't own? The Sultan has constantly been ranked as one of the most wealthiest individuals in the world. The Sultan of Brunei earns $100 a second from oil earning and investments, which works out to around $2 billion a year. His net worth fluctuates greatly depending on a number of factors, primarily from the pricing of oil and natural gas. During the 1990s, the Sultan's family reportedly accounted for almost half of all Rolls-Royce purchases in the world. He was awarded the Guinness World Record for the largest Rolls-Royce collection in 2011. He purchased a private Boeing 747 which cost at least $400 million. It was kitted out with $120 million worth of accessories, like solid gold wash basins. It was even reported that he gave his daughter an Airbus A340 for her birthday. 
Roman Abramovich. This billionaire Russian owns a Boeing 767, an ice boat and the legendary Chelsea football club. But what tops it all is his expensive splurge on, world's largest and most expensive yacht, the Eclipse, which cost him a whopping $500 million, $1 billion. Launched in 2010, the Eclipse boasts of 6,000 square feet of living space across 11 staterooms and suites. One needn't worry if it leaves the port, you can also park your chopper on its three helicopter landing pad. If you ever felt the need to abandon ship quickly, then this boat's three-person submarine can dive to 160 feet to save your day. Larry Ellison For Oracle founder Larry Ellison, home is the Hawaiian island of Lanai. He reportedly picked this mansion up in 2012 for a cool $300 million. His tropical paradise includes 90,000 acres, two Four Seasons resorts and a town with a population of 3,200. If one plans to stay in one of those resorts it will cost a huge $21,000 a night. Carlos Slim with a net worth of $69.2 billion, telecom tycoon Carlos Slim is Mexico's richest man, in 2011 he even was the richest man in the world. That, according to NPR, is the year where he opened the Museo Sumaya, an $800 million, six-story, metallic and windowless art museum. Slim owns more than 65,000 pieces, which includes some of Europe and Mexico's most priceless works of art.